Lamborghini, a Corvette, and five DUIs in 13 months. The son of one of Louisville's most prominent families begs the judge to let him out of jail. This after alleged bribes, extortion, and paying hundreds of thousands of dollars in bonds. Wave News troubleshooter Natalia Martinez with the exclusive story after investigating the grandson of Jefferson Town's longtime mayor, Brock Ruck Regal. Judge Ann Delahanty has been in the headlines lately after she let an alleged mass suspect out of jail with no bond after speaking to his mother asking her what to do. Thursday, she had two other parents in an unrelated case ask her to do the same thing. This time, it didn't work. I'm just beating myself up and I'm just, I just want to do the right thing. Thing. That's 22 year old Brock Ruck Regal on the stand Thursday. He's the grandson of longtime Jefferson Town Mayor Daniel Ruck Regal. And here's Brock Ruck Regal again and again and again. Mugshots for the five DUI arrests in 13 months. You talk to every lawyer in this town, and no one has seen anything like it. The citations I found in one case he was driving a Land Rover, then an orange Corvette, and the latest, a green Lamborghini. He was driving it on August 18th when police say he hit another car and then took off running a light through a busy intersection and pulling into a stranger's home. Luckily, no one was seriously hurt. He told police he had a broken neck and was suffering from heat exhaustion. His blood alcohol level was a .173, twice the limit. Just the month before, he'd been arrested in that orange Corvette. That citation says he drank a spiked iced tea at a gas station, and when the attendant told him his friend should drive instead, he responded, this B isn't touching my car. I'm meeting with therapists in jail and, um, and counselors, and I found Christ again in my life, and I'm just slowly finding my way back. To Judge Delahanty most recently gave him a $250,000 bond, which he paid in two days, posted by his parents. He put up a $50,000 bond, too. Delahanty is the same judge who was the subject of recent troubleshooter investigations after asking another mom in an unrelated case if she should let her kid out of jail. Mom, you want me to let him out? Yes. Yeah. This time, she asked Brock's parents to share their thoughts on whether she should forfeit the bonds. She decided to revoke him on previous cases and hold him in contempt for a total of 51 days in jail. At issue, Brock drove himself to the courthouse during a previous hearing with his parents knowing, after he was ordered, not to drive. They said they thought he was allowed to use the car with an interlock system to come to court. I know that he did not mean to disrespect you or disrespect your court? It was not anything, anything like that at all. Totally, totally misunderstanding. Brock's attorneys tried to convince the judge he is in danger in jail. Inmates, they said, have been contacting his parents for money while making threats. When you get the phone calls and their, their actual inmates say, we're going to kill your kid, okay, we're going to kill him if you don't get money down here. I just don't understand how Mr. Ruckriegel became so famous without him tooting his own horn. Delahanty did not forfeit the $300,000 that has so far been put up for Brock's bond. She told the attorneys that if they find a facility where he could be kept locked down, that she would consider letting him spend those 51 days there instead of in jail. On Monday, he will go again before a new judge on those two pending DUI cases. Natalia Martinez, Wave News.